meet Linda Hallinan, gardener extraordinaire and editor of New Zealand Gardener magazine. I'm thinking this chicken house is pretty cute, that could be a lead. Despite the busy lifestyle that comes with running a magazine, for the past few years Linda has been attempting to live self-sufficiently in central Auckland, growing all her own fresh fruit and vegetables. I've always thought that you had to live in the country and have a massive lifestyle block to be able to be completely self-sufficient, but three years ago I set myself a challenge to try to grow all my own food and to cut my grocery bills down to about 10 bucks a week. Linda has established an impressive 91 edible crops and 61 fruit trees in her relatively small city garden. I managed it and it actually wasn't even very difficult. She believes everyone has something to gain by adopting a more sustainable, cost-effective way of living. If I can do it, I think anyone can. And Linda's going to prove it by transforming an average Kiwi family and their property. In just a few weeks, their backyard will become a veggie production line and they'll be confident veggie growers. But judging by our family's audition tape, it may not be as easy as Linda thinks. Well, the cauliflower and the broccoli only grew to about this big, and then they went to flower, so I don't know what's gone on there. And the slugs have attacked the cabbages. And the carrots, apparently you can't transplant them, and I did, and they're all dying. I think with two little ones, you, you've only got so much time to give to it. I want to be a gardener. I want to be a gardener. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> now I feel embarrassed. <laughs>